It's quite the scene in one backyard in South Denver around sundown every night. A family of foxes comes out to play, and it is a big, rambunctious family. Kelly Worthman paid them a visit tonight. And Kelly, those foxes sure seem to be enjoying their new home. Well, this backyard is perfect for playtime, Karen. There is plenty of space, big trees for climbing, even a couple of trampolines to play on. So you could say it's the whole kit and caboodle for a backyard playground. They start to encroach to let us know it's time for us to go inside. It happens as soon as the sun sets. That's their cue to come out and, and party time begins. And Matt McCune's backyard is where the party's at. So at night? It's theirs. In the day, it's ours, and it seems to work out. Every night at dusk, a family of foxes takes over Matt's yard. Nine young kids take advantage of the trampoline, making for an adorable playtime view. They're very cute. They're very cute. There's no doubt. Matt says foxes have played in this yard for years, even before his family moved in. That's the trail. They're, they're, they're embedding a trail. But he's never seen so many baby foxes at one time. I was really excited at first, and then a couple of weeks into it, I start to get overwhelmed with the poop and, and the, the pee smell. Evie, tell me, what do you think about these foxes that like to play in your backyard? They smell stinky. That's 11 foxes, that's a Labrador, that's four humans. Is that 16 or 17 mammals? It's a lot of poop. Despite the stench, Matt says he has no plans to stop this fox party anytime soon. This is their home as much as it's ours. And there you could see there's one of the kits that have made a den underneath the deck here. They tend to go underneath Matt's house as well. And Matt says they'll likely roam away from here in the coming weeks, just like the other fox families have done in the past. That just means this human family has another fox family to look forward to next spring. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. It certainly is something to watch, Kelly. Thank you. While these foxes are really cute to watch, Parks and Wildlife wants to remind everyone that they are wild animals. Do not feed them or try to pet them.